So, yeah, this is a hard one to beat. I mean, I've beaten this exact build with Stemimima before. Um, but in the game that I won uh, against it, he had taken his expo, and your dude hasn't. So that gives him a much bigger army by not taking his expo than the dude that I was facing. Hmm. Hard, hard, hard one. So, um, charge lots are kind of like zerglings in that they're great if you get a surround, and they're terrible if you attack through a choke. So, uh, hopefully, at some point, you would have figured out that his army was made primarily of zealots. Like, I always send a, um, I always send a one or two marines out before I go. Like, you never want this to happen, where half your army's up top and half of it's at bottom. Because what if he was camping right here with sentries, and then he just force fields right here, and now he gets to kill half your army? Like, you always want to send down just one marine at first. Stim him and run him all the way to the watchtower, and then all the way to the dude's base. And along the way, if he dies, you get to see what killed him. And then you know the composition of your opponent. And if you had seen a big, huge pile of zealots with templars then now it's easy peasy. You just make sure to always hug a side wall. You just come up here and hug this wall and hug this wall and hug this wall. Keep your SCVs in front and make a little uh, choke for the zealots to run through and now he can't use charge lots against you very well and you spread out enough so that Psystorm can't kick you in the balls and all all is well. So this is something I, I mentioned in a TVZ game you played a while ago. Uh, yeah, it just making sure to scout with a small force before you send your big force just send one marine cuz you never want to you never want to see his army for the first time with your whole army I mean, yeah this is why obviously so anyway that is all i have to say i guess for this game